Hey guys, Tech Tom here. So today we're going to be comparing the DJI Mavic Pro to the GoPro Karma. These are two brand new drones released within the last week and they're very similar and a lot of people are asking themselves, what should you buy? I was asking myself this question earlier this week as I had just returned my Phantom 4, but more on that later. So let's just jump into it. So this right here is the Hero 5. Uh, the Hero 5 is the camera that is going to be used in the GoPro Karma. So first let's talk about the actual GoPro itself. Uh, it's called the Hero 5. It was introduced last week. So DJI and GoPro have pretty much within a week of each other uh, revolutionized the drone industry. So GoPro's model is that they want to create the invisible camera. So as you can see right here, this is the Hero 5 Black. It features a 12 megapixel camera. It shoots in 4K at 30 frames per second. Uh, it's waterproof up to 33 feet deep. That's 10 meters, that's incredibly deep. Uh, and it only has one button on it, which is record because the GoPro wants you to be able to get the best possible shot as fast as possible. So voice control. So this is probably the coolest feature of this GoPro camera is it's going to allow you to take a hands-free photo. Now all you have to say is GoPro, take a picture. Or you could say it in another language. So Karma is GoPro's attempt at getting into the drone industry. For the longest time, GoPro has pushed for their cameras to be utilized in any adventure scenario. It's great for vacationing, it's small, it's portable, it's great. So they wanted to take that philosophy and really give you the sense of, of being able to do whatever you want with your camera, whether it be on the ground or in the air, and their solution was Karma. As you see right here, Karma is more than a drone. It captures amazingly smooth footage in the air, handler mounted to your favorite gear. So what's so special about Karma? Well, Karma is the world's first foldable drone in the big industry. Uh, you know, there's smaller drones out there that allow you to fold them up, but the camera quality isn't there and the features aren't there. And GoPro was trying to change that and they did. It's ultra compact, Karma goes with you. So the GoPro Karma, the battery life is estimated to be around 15 to 18 minutes. Uh, they haven't come out and actually said the battery life for it, but the videos that I've seen with GoPro showing their drone had about an 18 minute timer on the actual GoPro itself. 18 minutes is good. It's not great as ZJI offers you a 25 to 30 minute flight time. The controller itself for the Karma is really cool. So this is the Karma controller right here. It's a gamepad styled controller. So this right here is all in one controller. You don't need a smartphone to connect to the actual drone itself. You flip this screen right here up from the controller. You can see you got two small joysticks right here and two buttons there. And there's two buttons on these ends to record and take pictures as well as tilt your camera. This is the Karma case right here that comes with the Total GoPro package. And the one thing that I haven't mentioned yet is Karma Grip. So Karma Grip is an add-on to the drone itself, a gimbal stabilizer for your GoPro. It's a pretty affordable price right now. It's the drone itself will ship for $799. So what does that come with? You'll get the GoPro Karma and the GoPro Grip for the $799. If you want a Hero 5 with it, it's $1099. And that'll save you $100 on the Hero 5 itself. So you'll get the Karma, the Grip, and the GoPro Hero 5 all for $10.99. So this right here is a video of the voice control feature on the Hero 5. GoPro, inicia video. One of the most exciting things about voice control is it makes Hero 5 less of a device and more just part of the experience. You can think it and ask your GoPro to do it and get on with having fun. I mean, the fact that you can now talk to your GoPro and ask it to take a photo tell it to start recording a video, tell it to change modes on the fly. It makes using a GoPro so much more intuitive and so much easier. And the fact that a lot of times a GoPro is out of reach, voice control just opens up a whole new world of possibility for using your GoPro. Karma is going to add so much more to the GoPro line because it's going to give people the opportunity who may not have bought a drone before to be able to buy one and use it with their compatible device and get in the air and get some amazing aerial photography. All right, so yesterday DJI held an event where they announced the DJI Mavic Pro. So the Mavic Pro is DJI's attempt at getting into the foldable drone industry. Before the Mavic Pro and before GoPro Karma, drones were big, they were clunky. So this is awesome, this is so cool. 
uh, the drone itself is one third the size of a piece of paper. Uh, Flight Autonomy gives the Mavic the intelligence to avoid obstacles and hover precisely. It has five cameras with two ultrasonic range finders. One of the cool things about Mavic Pro is that it's utilizing a piece of technology that DJI just implemented into this drone for the first time, which basically takes a video of its takeoff point. You press a button and it will come back within centimeters of where you took off using the video. It's got a 4K stabilized camera. As far as flight performance goes, it flies up to 27 minutes of flight. It can fly at speeds up to 40 miles per hour. So this right here is the controller that the Mavic ships with. Uh, as you can see, it's their smallest controller ever. The DJI Phantom 4 controller was massive. It was clunky. This right here just tells you where you are, how many satellites you're connected to. Uh, and then this right here will pull data down from the drone at 1080p uh, and give you a real time view. You can shoot like a pro automatically, so you don't need other people with you with the drone itself. You can actually just take active track, which is part of DJI's app. You click and drag over an object, it highlights it in green and basically follows them wherever they're going. But now DJI is introducing gesture control, same as GoPro. So one of the cool things is that you can actually fly this drone with your phone. So you just use the controls that pop up on your phone to control the drone. So right now what I want to show you is the Mavic Pro and the gesture control that I was speaking about earlier. And I also want to show you how they flew their drone during the DJI presentation using their phone. So I'm going to set it down and get ready to get up in the air, but I'm only going to be flying a short distance and uh, I, I'm just going to take a pretty simple shot. So I'm actually just going to control the entire thing using my smartphone. Using our new integrated Wi-Fi between Mavic and DJI Go, we have a simple and intuitive user interface that allows you to take those short instant pictures at short ranges. So I can effortlessly just get up in the air and get the shot that I want. So I'm simply going to tap to take off. And I'm going to get a little bit of altitude fly it a little away from me and angle the shot. So while it's doing this, I, I want to get a shot, but at the same time, I don't really want to talk to you, angle the shot and control the camera, the drone at the same time. So I'm actually going to enter into the simplest user interface for aerial photography that's ever been created. It's called gesture control. So I'm just going to signal to Mavic to start following me. And as you can see, as I move around on stage, it's tracking me. So it's an easy way to control the drone, but more importantly, it takes great pictures. One of the things I find so frustrating is I'm out in the world taking these great shots of me and my friends, but I'm always holding this giant transmitter or looking down at my phone. It doesn't feel spontaneous. It doesn't feel like how I experience the world. So now I simply go like this and Mavic instantly recognizes that I want to take a picture. I don't know what to do with my hands anymore. So, <laughs> and it instantly takes a selfie after three seconds. So tap fly is for beginner pilots that often have trouble flying in a straight line. They aren't familiar with the types of controls. Tap flies means you just tap where you want to go and the Mavic will fly there smoothly in a direction so that you can focus on controlling the gimbal. So the Mavic Pro is shipping for $999. That $999 value is going to include the drone, the camera, and the remote control itself. If you want to get the drone and the camera without the remote control, there's a 749 option, which is currently not available on DJI's website. But the one thing that GoPro has going for them is the fact that if you break anything on the drone, it is fully replaceable. They have all the parts available online for you to be able to purchase and replace, including the actual body of the drone itself. You can buy the DJI Care Refresh for the Mavic Pro. So with DJI Care Refresh, you will receive the prioritized replacement service for an additional charge. DJI Care Refresh offers up to two full replacements for your Mavic, greatly reducing the time it takes for you to get back in the air. So the other thing that the Mavic Pro has going for it is that the camera features a rectangular linear lens which means there's gonna be no distortion to give you a straight line for the background of your photo. Whereas the GoPro 
you get that fisheye-like effect, which kind of distorts the photo itself. So what are my final thoughts on the actual drones themselves? I honestly think that GoPro had an edge until Mavic came out. I was this close to buying a GoPro Karma until I saw the Mavic. DJI is like the apple of the world. They want to be perfect in everything they do and they want to release a stylish product. This drone looks sick. It is stylish, it's sleek, and it's small and portable and compact. DJI has been in the drone business for several years now. They've perfected their technology. So yeah, that's my review. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you going to be getting a DJI Mavic Pro or the GoPro Karma? Are you looking into getting a Hero 5? Are you a first time drone buyer or have you flown drones before? I personally just ordered my Mavic Pro. It should be coming hopefully mid-October. I honestly think the Mavic Pro is the best bang for my buck. So make sure you leave a comment below. Click on that thumbs up button and make sure you click that subscribe button for more Tech Tom videos. And remember, every day is an adventure.